going on guys? Before we get into the Raptor Liner update video, I want to give you guys a quick channel update. Uh, as you guys know, on this channel we take risks, we do things that might be a little bit crazy at times, and 2020 is going to be no different. Um, I'm going to be adding something to this channel very, very soon, possibly within the next month or so, uh, hoping within the next month or so, um, that is just going to be it's going to be awesome for the channel. I think you guys are going to get super excited and jacked up when you see it as well. Um, so comment down below what you guys think it's going to be. I just wanted to give you guys an update that we got something pretty, pretty awesome on the way. And you guys are going to be a large part of the reason that this is able to happen. So I wanted to give you guys an update, say thank you to you guys. And without further ado, let's get into the Raptor Liner update video. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I apologize if my voice sounds different in this video. I'm still a wee bit sick, but today we are going to be making an updated um, video on how the Raptor Liner is doing. As you guys know on my channel, a few months ago, I completely sanded down my entire truck and Raptor lined it olive drab green and did the fender flares in the front and the back bumpers and the grill black Raptor liner. So I'm going to be making an updated video on that so I can show you guys how it's holding up and I'll talk about you know what kind of things like I wish that I would have known going into it um, what I would have done differently what I wouldn't have done differently and any advice that I have to you guys who want to Raptor line your truck going forward. Okay guys, so this Raptor Liner paint job is about three months old, and to be honest, it still looks as good as the very first day that I did it. The UV protectant in this thing is awesome. I live in South Florida, so we're getting sunlight 24 seven, and it hasn't faded at all, hasn't changed colors. It's extremely easy to wash. I can just take it to one of those pressure washing places, give it a quick down and everything comes right off. You don't need to worry about waxing it or anything like that. I think some people have put like ceramic coats on their, um, on their Raptor liner paint jobs, but to be honest, you probably don't need it. That's probably just like user preference, but to be honest, it still looks as good as the very first day that uh, we did this. So for this portion right here, I want to show you guys what the difference in Raptor Liner looks like um, on the fender flares and the body of the truck compared to the grill. So what I did on the grill was this was the Raptor Liner out of a spray can, not the spray gun hooked up to an air compressor. As you guys can see, it's still rough, it's still rigid, but it's a lot smoother and the particles are not as pointy, I guess you would say. So that is what the difference of Raptor Liner looks like on the body of the truck as compared to the grill. Another thing that I want to point out is this is the Raptor liner that was sprayed over the plastic portion on top of my bumper. This rigid area you see as opposed to the metal part on the bottom is all plastic. Now I used an adhesion promoter underneath the Raptor liner and it has held up very, very well. Um, it's not scratching, it's not bubbling up, it's not chipping off, it looks great. Keep in mind the fender flares as well are plastic. I use the adhesion promoter on top of that as well and it has held up very, very well. So something that I wish that I would have known going into this project was that I could have used a larger air compressor. So my original goal was to spray it with about 90 PSI this entire time, but unfortunately on the body of the truck, I was only able to do about 60 PSI the whole time because of the size of the air compressor that I was using. And occasionally because it was such a large project, the PSI would drop and I would hit a couple areas of the truck with about 40 PSI on accident, which is why you see sort of these like globby spots where there's a larger portion of the bed liner that kind of came out. The fender flares, as you can see right here, are the exact texture that I wanted originally for the whole truck. Um, and I was able to hit those with 80 PSI because it was a smaller project. But when I was working on the, uh, the body of the truck, it was much larger and I couldn't run a high PSI the whole time. Another thing that I wish I would have known is how time... Um, how time consuming this project really is. Um, the taping portion is probably one of the most tedious parts of the entire project, but it's also one of the most important, and I'll show you guys why right up here. So as you can see right here, there is some blue right along the edge um, of this part of the body panel of the truck right here. So 
Um, it's actually going to be pretty easy to fix. Um, I've still got some product left over, so I'm going to be able to just take that, mix it up, and take like a paintbrush or an edging brush and sort of just like kind of go along the edges up here. There's a few different edges that I neglected to get. On the inside of the hood right here, there's a little bit of blue that you can see, and I actually completely missed this portion right here. But that's honestly like that's a true DIY project guys. I'm not going to lie to you and say I did it perfectly. Everything I do is perfect on the very first try. That's just some of the things that happen when you're doing a DIY project for the most part completely by yourself. Um, but I just want to be honest and upfront with you guys. I love this. I wouldn't change anything about it. But there were some parts that I'm going to have to go back over now that it's been on for a little while. And I can see sort of where the mistakes were that I'm going to have to redo and retouch up. Hey guys, sorry, the outro portion of this video got corrupted. So in summary, I wish I had a larger air compressor for sure. I wish I had more time set aside to complete the project. Um, it was a lot of fun and I do believe that I did a very good job um, with it initially considering how large of a project it was. It was my very first time doing it. Um, I do think that I did a good job, but there are definitely some things that I learned along the way. I hope I've passed those things along to you guys right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are excited about the new, um, I'll just call it a thing, coming to the channel, comment down below what you guys think it's going to be. I'm really curious to think where you guys think my head is at as far as like getting something brand new for the channel. I am super excited. Depending on when you see this video, we might only be like two days away from getting the new thing. Um, it's actually been a much faster process than I thought it was going to be and I'm super excited about it and I hope that you guys are too. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you guys on the next video.